yeah so till now we saw what are variables data types data structures condition statements uh, now we'll see loops so there's only one loop in python which is a for loop and it's kind of different from other uh, other you could say loops other loops in other programming language it's more of a uh, iterator it's like he first like loops are mostly like used for uh, iterating over some uh, like doing a repetitive task uh, repetitive task so but uh, in python for loops are mostly used for iterate or iterate over a sequence of data so that sequence of data can be an array or uh, sorry in python we call them list or dictionary sets tuple it can be anything okay so mostly they are used for that okay, so uh, what what's the we have to see there are some kind of different different convention for a lot of things so we'll see uh, what are those okay so first i'll make a list maybe first i'll make a list like let's take the same example as before username henry and jack jason okay i'll take one more so if i have to print every uh, every uh, name uh, in the username list what i have to do is like print, i have to write repetitive statements like username and i have to index it with this okay so this is like we are i have to do it for maybe four times because there are uh, four elements in the uh, four elements in the list so it, this isn't that much uh, good this isn't that much uh, useful because what if we have more than four elements what we have 400 elements so we write it like 400 times or no no so that's why we can use uh, something called loops and specifically like which will iterate over uh, which will iterate over the list or anything sequence of data that we provided to and then it will uh, we could do some operations over that data so it now it's giving like this okay so it's giving us henry jack jason and steve but uh, if what if i had i had like the case where i had 400 so i wouldn't write 400 print statements so what i could do what i could do is use a simple for loop which will iterate over my list so for i could use name i'll give a temporary variable called name in and username username okay this is int indentation so whatever i write inside this it's a part of the for for loop block so if i'll print now name so it will give me the same output and this time no matter how much the uh, length of the list is i have to write the same two lines only before I had to write 400 uh, print statements for 400 elements in a single list, but do, I, right now I don't have to. I, I could write it in two lines only. So it's kind of easier to do this. So re repetitive work, we, we can uh, automate it. Okay. So what uh, for loop can be iterated over any iterable object. So, the, so there's something called iterable object where we can uh, iterate over them. It's like if I'll take a uh single variable okay uh, name equals to uh maybe handy okay i can iterate over that also for uh for uh n in name print n okay and i'll remove this for see it's giving me h e n r y so so this is also an iteratable object so everything can be treated over h e and all those n is one h first and then second it would be e then n then r y in the same way it was like first uh, element was henry then jack then jason then stevie in the same way it, in the form of string it's a one character second character then third character fourth and fifth which will make it a single string okay so in this way we can use loops for lot uh, any data structures okay any data structures uh, there's if we if we think about loops then one more thing that we have to uh, comes in the picture is two keywords is break and st break and continue so what we'll do it's like i'll run a loop uh, for name in username okay so and i'll print print name okay and what i'll do i'll check for if name if name 
विल बी इक्वल टू इक्वल टू जेसन ठीक है जेसन देन वॉट आई डू आई टेल टेल दी लुक टू गेट ब्रेक ओके एंड आफ्टर ब्रेक आई कुड मे बी यूज ओके ठीक है नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम सो वॉट आई डू इट्स लाइक आई रन इट सो इफ यूल सी इट गॉड फर्स्ट इट गॉड एंड्री ओके and then it saw key if it's uh, json and it's not equals to json so it will ignore the code inside the if block then it will go again uh, loop it will see jack okay jack is not equals to json so it will ignore then it will print out json uh, okay so the now json will be equals to json then it will break so if you'll see i could break out of the loop so the tv didn't got printed out so it means i breaked out of the loop uh, while using some conditional statements okay in this way you could uh, you could do it you could do some practical observation when you want to uh, break out of the break out of the loop uh, based on some condition you could use the break keyword okay in the same way there some other key uh, another keyword uh, and uh, that will be kind of uh, kind of a kind of a same thing but uh, it doesn't yeah it doesn't stop the iteration it doesn't stop the whole loop it just uh, it just skips that iteration so if you take uh, if you'll say continue uh, if i'll say continue and i'll print it over here okay ctrlv okay uh, and if i'll say c so what it did first it got nd then jack so name was not equals to json and first time second time it was not equals to jack was not equal to json but third time json was equals to json so what it did it continued it means what it will not uh, it will not continue with the this iteration of the loop okay that iteration of the loop so it was a uh, third iteration of the loop it never executed it what it did after continue it went the control uh, flow went to the again to the fifth line so after it got detected like yeah json is equals to equals to json uh, then continue so what it did from eight control flow of the program uh, went from eight line to the fifth line again so it skipped the uh, that skipped that iteration of the loop so yeah so these are the two keywords that comes in the picture uh, while we, that we can use for uh, different different practical purposes okay so now we could also have some uh, other other built in function that we could use it's like key, what if we have some our uh, arbitrary number like our numbers which we want to go over but we don't have it any it any in any uh, like kind of we could say data structure so we could make one okay so i what i could do is like for i in range uh, i in range the range is a uh, range is a what you could say it's a in building function in python that could be used to uh, iterate over the uh, values or we could make a you make you could make a list of those values from ranging so if i'll say nine okay and what if i'll print it it's better to show it to you in working okay and see this is how what it uh, outputted like 0 to 8 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so uh, in programming uh, the counting starts from 0 so that's why it start from 8 okay it stopped at 8 0 to 8 are nine elements okay so in the same way you could also uh, because uh, i have add only uh, like pass one parameter so it is the stop parameter where it should stop i could also uh, add a parameter where it should start from so it will now uh, start from 3 till 9 3 till 8 okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 okay now i could also do one more parameter which is uh, skip to uh, skip of 2 like okay c so it will skip for 3 plus 5 and then 5 plus 7 so so it will skip the uh, it will what it will do it will add 2 for each and every element 3 plus 2 then 5 and it's a stepping parameter you could call it as a stepping parameter okay so yeah so this is how you could use this is how you could use uh, this is how you could use uh, basic for loops and you could also do some like kind of you could also do some nested for loops also uh, if we could say like uh, what if we could say uh, i'll just do 3 to uh, maybe 8 8 will give me 3 4 5 6 okay so not 8 7 so let's do 7 uh, 3 4 5 6 okay and what i could do i'll do i'll add a one more uh, loop uh, name in username and, and what i'll do i'll print it uh, print both of them 
print both see so it's kind of you could print it's kind of the nested loop you uh, you have a nested loop uh, loop inside a loop you could do nested loops also so it's very uh, useful when we go through some algorithms or data structure searching or, or searching and sorting algorithms so this is the this is uh, how the uh, loops work in python so mostly it's not, it's not a kind of a uh, it's more of a iterable object it's like it gives us an iterator or iterator which helps on iterating on iteratable objects which are like iteratable objects are list and all those things list uh, dictionary sets and tuples okay so yeah i hope so you understand loops and uh, i'll see you in the next video